Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rest, and we actually have some really interesting news come out today for Borderlands 3. Not only are we going to get our final vault card, we're also getting a new event on top of them actually updating the true trials so you can actually flip them on whenever you want to. So as I said, today we released an update for Borderlands 3, which will be live on all platforms by 12 p.m. Pacific time. This update adds the third and final vault card for players who own the Director's Cut content, so you do have to own Director's Cut, obviously. But it also adds a talk of the true trials event effects and activates the limited time co-op loot drop event. And that's going to end on November 25th at 8.59 Pacific. And it's also going to address uh, reported concerns. So the co-op loot drop event is back again, which is really, really fun. You're going to get more loot. On top of that, obviously, the vault cards here and uh, the true trials event, which people have been wanting to toggle, you know, ever since that update came out. You know, we can finally do that now. So moving on down, we have vault card three. Bunker Masters has been added to the game for the owners of the Director's Cut add-on. So obviously, we kind of all speculated that it was going to be, you know, Bunkers and Badasses themed due to Wonderlands coming out. And also even with the one-shot adventure that came out, you know, th this is like every what everyone was predicting. I'm curious to see what all the skins and even the new weapons are going to be like. Obviously, be sure to stick around. I'm going to cover all that on this channel. But also, like I said, add a switch to the Proven Ground map so enable a true trials event for players. So this is just going to be more of a challenge if you want that. Uh, if you're somewhat really, really late into the end game and you just want to have a new raid-like activity to go through. On top of that, they also added three new Echo Device skins uh, in Crazy Earl Shop. I guess that's kind of interesting if you have a pile of Iridium, which I assume probably most of us do. Uh, you can just go get three new skins if you care about that. Then they also actually updated so Maurice's Black Market is going to just swap locations without having to have a weekly hotfix. This is honestly probably foreshadowing saying that it probably isn't going to be that many more hotfixes since this is kind of like the last hurrah since we're getting the last vault card. Uh, you know, the thing we've been wanting, you can finally do that. Uh, and they also implemented this so they don't actually have to hotfix the game every week now to change that. So... That's kind of sad, but who knows? They might, could drop something special on us. Obviously, they dropped the one-shot adventure randomly. But, you know, that may be what this is saying. But overall, this is still, like, a pretty decent thing uh, just to make it easier to go get the black market. Uh, and then also, just they added a bunch of, you know, updated uh, things. You know, a bunch of you know, just collision fixes. Just a bunch of, you know uh stability changes as well uh ui changes i'm not going to read through all of these if you guys want to i will link this in the description but this is just simply just making the gameplay better but some characters they actually uh did uh do something so correct the reported issue that was sometimes causing scenes opera shorter can to still be visible after level transitions this was actually pretty annoying i'm finally glad they fixed this uh they also fixed uh zane the operator's electric avenue skin to display properly you know, if you're Zane and you like that skin, there you go. Uh, but updated on Mars the Siren's Expedite skill to prevent some situations where it's not casting correctly. Expedite has been bugged for the longest time now. Hopefully this fixes it. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to. I mean, it's listed in the patch notes. But also updated Mars the Siren, uh, Partali, Renegade, and the Shran Saint Vault Hunter head cosmetics to only appear once in the cosmetic list. You know, if you were struggling to customize your character, you know, hopefully that'll help you out some. But... So this is a really, really big update. They kind of just dropped it on us. Obviously, the main thing is the new Vault Car, which, you know, everybody's going to be excited for it, and the Proven Ground things. But Expedite, hopefully, is working now. If you ever had any of these issues with Stability UI, uh, hopefully, that's fixed on your end now as well. And there's three new Echo Device skins uh, if you want to get those. But that is just this quick little update. Like I said, I am going to be covering all the new Vault Car content. So if you'd like to see that, stick around. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.